You know, it's complicated for adults to learn about how our government works. It can, for a kid, it can be even more so, and that's why a local triad dean at a college teamed up with his wife and to get kids excited about how our government works and how all that happens, they did it through a series of children's books they released recently. Here's part of my conversation with Dean Daniel Prosterman of Salem College. Dan, I want to talk about this uh, series of children's books that you have because you're taking a, a pretty big topic that's tough to explain, but you got to get this down to where our kids understand it. Tell me about the book series. Where did the idea come from? A absolutely. Uh, my, my wife, uh, the fabulous author Megan Bryant, uh, she was thinking about uh, how often we take our kids to vote and how much of a ritual it is for us to go uh, to the polls with our children. Uh, how exciting that is. So after the birth of our third child in 2018, there was a special election coming up in North Carolina. Uh, so he was just a couple of months old. We took him to the polls, put the I voted sticker on him, had a huge grin on his face. And, and she thought we need to do a series on democracy and government. What were you focusing on with each of these books? Sure, there's four books in the series, so we wanted to break down what we thought were four of the most essential aspects of democracy and government in the United States and do it in a way that uh, young readers could follow, whether it have to do with uh, the Congress or the presidency and the three branches of government or with the electoral process itself. Maybe after reading all the books, uh, we'll start seeing seven-year-olds uh, pontificating on the American political system. That's probably your end goal, I guess. That's right, you gotta get them hooked early. But, but in all seriousness, parents have, have really been struggling to find sources uh, dealing with politics and government issues that they care so much about that they can relate to and experience with their children. So we, we found this to be a, a really nice uh, uh, way of connecting very young readers with their caregivers and parents uh, to talk about issues that are fundamental to our country. Well, I love the idea, Daniel. Thank you for taking time out today. Good luck with these books, this is great. So many good things come out of this. I mean, the connection of parents with kids, but over a topic that really, as we get older, sometimes it eludes a lot of folks. And I think it's, you start early enough, get them interested at a really basic level, then they'll build on that and they love their civic duty later on. I think it's a great thing. Yeah, it's important for you to set a good example for your kids in so many aspects of life, but especially the elections process. I know it's a little bit of a weird time with the pandemic. They ask you not to bring extra people into the polls this year. So this book comes at a great time, Eric. And Instead of taking them to vote, they can just read them these books. Yeah, I know a lot of people tend to shy away with politics and maybe you yourself, you're not quite sure how to explain it at the level that a kid can understand. So having a book like this is great for that too. And sometimes uh, the government and civics and all that is just a little bit confusing. So sometimes it's nice to have a little guide uh, to help you out. Absolutely. Can you believe Election Day is tomorrow? It is here. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all's faces at the same time were priceless. Maybe you're feeling that way as 